thought we'd do a quick video on how to graph a circle on your cast. First thing to do is this. Make sure, please, 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 make sure, make sure you have 3.2 new OS. If you don't, please go to education.ti.com free 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 so get that thing downloaded let's get to work on this now so this is something new it was a pain in the neck to do this before but now it's not I'm just going to go to insert graphs from graphs let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger for you guys to see this better um go to menu go to graph entries check this out here it says here equation this is new this is so cool and we want to put in a circle. We'll put in a circle. Now this is one thing that's a little bit important that you have to put in values here. So if you don't want to have this thing move away from center, you have to just put zeros here. And then I'm going to use, I don't know, like five squared or something. And then here's our circle. Five. Oops. Five. And here's our circle. Dun, dun, dun can make it a little bit better if you want to have something a little bit more interesting you could make this one let's say insert let's say insert graphs again get a good do two or three examples here go back to menu right edit entry right equation from equation circle and you could move this around a little bit you could do it like this it's one and you could have this as I don't know six squared like that and you can hit enter here, and there's a different circle. I'm not even talking yet about what you can do to, um, to, to analyze this graph. I'm just talking about the fact that finally you can graph it. You can have a picture of this. Because if you remember before 3.2 came out, everything you did really had to be an equation. It had to be a function. And, of course, circles are not functions. So let's do this last one, and we'll be done with this video. So let's go back. Let's just do another one. So I'm going to go to home screen here, control, page down, just as some things, add a graph, go back to the menu, right? You're getting this, aren't you? Go to equation, to circle, and then put in, I don't know, three, five, and just to make this more interesting, let's do this as, I don't know. Let's do square root. So square root of 17. And there's our circle. All right? So hopefully this is really good for you. And what we're going to do is, is continue to do this stuff and, and to start to analyze it. But first I thought maybe we should get used to doing this. So this is how to graph a circle with your CAS. Let's look at this really quick to make sure that we've been clear about this part right here. So... Make sure that you have the new 3.2 OS, right? All you have to do if you don't have it already is go to education.ti.com and just uh, plug your calculator in through your USB port and it will automatically upload or it may prompt you to do something, but there's no charge for it. Uh, if you don't already have a CAS, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't think the Inspires will do it, but the new CAS will. So, uh, oh, and if you have an old CAS, you only have one of the old gray ones, just make sure you update it from 1.4 to 1.7 from 1.7 to 3.0 and then from there to 3.2. So if, it, you have, if you have really old stuff, if you have like 1.1 OS on there, you can kind of slowly down upgrade it. Uh, you can do it in one sitting, It'll probably take you 10 minutes, all right? If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and your comments are always welcome.